Uh, you know what? I do feel a level of responsibility towards him. Unfortunately, I can't follow him round all week. Um, you know, we try and take care of them while we're, they're in our company. Um, and I, I said to him on a regular basis, you know, I know he's a young guy. Enjoy yourself, but work hard at the same time. And um, and it, and, it, and it's hard to watch. It really is. Um, we all, we, you know, in our in our own ways. Especially as I'm sat here with most of the press, we've all encouraged Frankie to be not only good but to be bad as well. And we've enjoyed it, and we've written about it, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The show's enjoyed the, the amount of publicity we've had from it, and um, it's just gone too far out of control for us to be able to, as a show, have him still on here. But I do feel a level of responsibility for it. I do feel sorry for him, like I said. Um, but I think I think the point is at this point is that it, 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 it's out of our control from from here on, um, and so I'm I'm sad for him. I really am, and I'm also sad because the, one of the worst bits, and I will always remember about Frankie, is whenever I saw him, he constantly told me he, he shouldn't be in the show. He's not good enough. He constantly told me that, and um, I, I read messages whether they're online in newspapers or on Twitter, and they're all telling him he's not good enough. And on Saturday night he stood on TV and he told, the, the audience booed him on Saturday night. And so I can kind of see where, where his life has led to in the last seven days. And um, I don't feel good about it at all. And, and I think any, every, anyone who's contributed to that shouldn't feel good about it either.